Right, hello, here we are at the Red Bull Ring. This is the GT3 Challenge, this will be interesting. Loads of people going off. Let's get going. Oh my word, that's the rejoin for the ages. Nice one everybody. So, where was I? Hello, welcome to iRacing. This is the GT3 Challenge in week 13. Oh, you dive-bombing little shit. Anyway, good job on paying attention. I'm in the new Porsche. This is the same series that I won my race in yesterday. I'm no way I'm in a million years am I going to win this. I do actually have the pace. My fastest time yesterday in practice was nearly a second faster than a guy on pole here. But I just can't seem to string a really quick lap together today. So we're just going to crack on, see what happens. Loads of people are going to go off and crash and stuff. So, And there we go. Goodbye McLaren. Okay, end of lap one. We're still going. Must have some damage on the car because that was a really hefty whack from the left in the first corner. But the car is drivable. Ten laps. Nathan in front, who's the dive bomber. There are certain corners on certain tracks that you just should not try and dive bomb. Uh, turn one at Monza, obviously, and turn two here. Just absolutely don't do it. People are, are, are turning in from the left it's very tight, it's uphill, they're going to have nowhere to go if you try and sneak up the inside. It's an absolute error of monumental decision, especially if the driver turning is not paying attention or thinks, oh, that guy's not going to dive from there. Um, in practice for this race, I had a guy absolutely send it. I was braking and turning in and he was still flying up the inside from about 50 metres away and um, took me out. Hopefully we get some places back here. Oh, talking of dive bombers, look at that. Is he going to do it again? Sort of. Much less of a... Oh, Christ. My, that guy in front, is that Sean? He's cut right across there really sharply. Yeah, this is a, a much harder track to not get killed on than Watkins Glen. That's it. Sean, you give him a little nudge out of the way. That's Jonathan. Can we take Jonathan? Probably didn't see him because of his. Uh... Can I look at them all going off there? What a bunch of idiots! He's got a camouflage paint in front, so that probably made him difficult to spot. God. Oh, come on! Let's get up the inside and get past him. We 
Should be able to overtake both of these. What are you doing, Sean? See ya, Sean. This track is very, very straightforward. I don't know why so many people have problems with spins and stuff. You really shouldn't. Just needs nice progressive throttle. We've got to get past Jonathan here. going wide, he's going wide, he's going wide, we can take that, thank you very much, leave Jonathan behind, top 10, started 12th, anything in the top 10 will do for me, the higher the better, track limits here are pretty generous, but not stupidly generous, Oh, apparently, uh, I've heard that they've restructured the track limits on Spa, which will come as a huge relief to a great many people, me included. And Jonathan has gone. He's lost it on that corner. Leo's back in the frame, but Leo is a much faster driver. But he's the guy who dive bombed me into T1 in the white and green Porsche. Anyway, we're doing alright. Corner always feels as if you're going slower than you should be. He's facing the wrong way, don't go forward, so we can go forward now, but I'm past. Cause a bit of confusion to the guys behind if you don't mind. Oh he hasn't. Leo's got through okay. Everybody else seems to have got through okay. Here we go, ride the curve, oh he's round. Marcus. Drop the gear and try and get a bit more oomph out of the corner because that felt a bit slow. So who we've got in front, Christoph, he's had a problem. So he's dropped right back. Then we've got Jeremy, Andrea. They're not too far off the top five. If any of the guys in front want to have a spin or some more problems, that'd be good. Oh, right on cue. There's Andrea. Thank you, Andrea. So that's up to sixth now. Leo's within a second. He'll be coming past sooner rather than later. Come on, understeer, let's go. Point 0.2 behind. He's probably going to go for a move up the inside here. So I can hear him. Try and keep it as close as possible without taking us both off. That's okay, we were seventh, that's fine. So what's happening behind? Eight seconds behind, that's alright, we can manage that. So it looks like we're not going to be finishing lower than seventh. It's a 
five place game. He's gone completely inside the red and white there. Is he going to get a slowdown? Doesn't look like it from the way he's hurrying off. So about three laps to go. how much damage my car's got because that lap one collision really was a big hit pretty much from both sides I mean you don't really get into sixth gear on this track you don't get into top gear so it's not a massive issue Wide there. Come on, let's pull it back in. It's the late seconds to the guy behind. He's fighting with Andrea. Maybe they'll slow each other down. Fingers crossed. Two laps to go, I think. Well, they're having a good battle behind, Stefan and Andrea. They're probably going to screw it up. Leo, that's for sure. has got round Stefan. Will Stefan take it or will he fight back and cause issues? Okay, last lap. Side by side. And there it is. They're dropping like a stone. They both screwed it up on the last lap, turn one. Well done, lads. Honestly, this has just been a lobby full of Muppets. Now we've got the bunch in front. They've all gathered up. Are we going to see any grade A Muppetry coming out of this? Fingers crossed we can get around the corner and see cars spinning on fire and stuff.
I mean, we're pretty comfortable. We've got now 17 seconds to Stefan behind. So started 12th. We're finishing 6th. Just outside the top 5, but that's alright. So six places gained, that's good, considering I haven't really been on the pace I was in yesterday. Look at them all. Anyway, started 12th. Finished 6th. Nice one, that's pretty decent. And we live to see the end of the race. So thanks for watching then, and I'll catch you for the next one.